This experiment is quite the troll. We're gonna have some counterintuitive places, but you have a cart moving on a frictionless surface. Now this frictionless here is gonna be a source of confusion and trollness later. But remember, it's frictionless, which means anything, if it's moving, it will just continue moving at the same speed. No energy loss. Okay. Sand is dropped onto the truck as it passes X. So if I draw a truck here, something like this, suddenly its mass is higher because now it will have sand inside that. I don't know how to draw like that last sand. And it will be moving at some velocity. I don't know what that is. Maybe this is U, this is V. What happens to the velocity of the truck when sand is added at X and at Y? Okay, so at X, when suddenly the mass increases, what happens to the velocity? Now, you think of this conservation of momentum before and after. If you think of before, you have the truck and you have the sand, which is has no velocity. Gosh, it's kind of weird. The sand is just sitting there. But now, once the sand is in, your truck and the sand are both moving at a, the same velocity already. So, conservation of momentum. So, in order to conserve momentum, when the the sand and the truck are moving at the speed V, your truck has to slow down already. No? So V, the speed of the truck or velocity of the truck has to decrease. Cannot stay the same. Okay, You drop down, become heavier, you slow down. No? If you want to look at the equation of how it looks like, you can think of it this way. Before, while well, it's just the truck and the sand, you can consider the sand to be at rest. Before, the total momentum, sum of P, is going to be the mass of the truck. I'm just going to call this number 1. Sand is number 2. Mass of the truck times the initial velocity. The sand does not have any momentum. It's just considered stationary. But after that, after you have dropped the sand on the truck, the total momentum has to be the same. But now you have the truck that is moving, but also the sand that is moving already. So... I mean, they're moving at the same speed, lah, so you can consider it to be this way, m1 plus m2 times v. Okay, so you're, you have to move slower in order for co co uh, momentum to be conserved. Because now it's heavier already. Mass increase, momentum has to decrease. Okay, then we come to part 2. What happens? At y, a trap door of the bottom of the trap open and the sand fall out. Okay, so what's happening here? You have the truck moving, moving. Suddenly, when you come to this plot, a trap door opens. So I don't know how to draw the trap door. I draw like this. Lah. So all your sand has fallen out. Like that. Your truck will have some velocity, and so will the sand. So what happened to the truck's velocity? Did it change or did it not? Most of us will be very tempted and to say that, oh, just now you get your mass increase, so now you slow down. But then at why you throw away your mass decrease, so you should move faster. Lah. A lot of people will choose this, but actually it's not correct. No. Why? Why is it not correct? The correct answer should be B. Here's why. When you when you're at X, uh, at this at stage X, you have the truck and the sand all moving at the same speed. Right? And now they separate. But they are both moving in the same direction still. Okay? The sand is moving at the same initial speed as the truck. The truck is still moving at the initial speed. So, how do we write out the equations to think about this thing? Well, you could think of it this way. So, before you reach the trap door, your total momentum is going to be both items, the truck and the sand, moving at speed V. I say V, la, okay, sure, V. Or U. After that, they separate, but they are having the same speed, because the sand will have the same speed V. So will the truck be. So even if you change this to u, and then you equate the equation, or m1 plus m2 times u equals to m1 v plus m2 v. Although they are separate, they actually have the same speed. So, uh, yeah. so the momentum is the same, no? 
It's just that instead of moving together, they move separately. Kind of weird, right? Okay. If I redraw this, okay, something like this. If you have a broken plate glued together, but they are moving at the same velocity, then suddenly they separate, but they are still moving in the same direction, same velocity, then momentum is conserved. Ma. It's just that they're moving separate, but still in the same direction. Okay, so that's why at Y, your truck will still stay at the same speed. Because momentum has to be conserved. You think of the whole system. If you are wondering, then miss, why in part X we have to change the velocity? Nah, because the difference is before here your sand is not moving, your truck is moving. Then you put them together. Oh. Then in the case number two on the right side, they were already moving at the same speed. So when they separate, they are still moving at the same speed, low. It's just that they are moving separately not stick together, that's it. But at the same speed. And the sand will keep moving also to the right because it's a frictionless surface. Kind of strange, right? Yeah, so if it's really frictionless, the sand will just move forever to the right and so will the truck. So yep, that's the part there which is counterintuitive, which kind of makes our brain a little hang because they're like, huh? Why at why is like this? So go think about this whole scenario a little bit more. Uh, it's It's impossible to do this quite impossible to do this in real life because fictional surface is hard to find but that's all for this question hopefully that was helpful see you in the next question next video